What's up Madden 17 fans, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you guys to this video and as we prepare for, <coughs> for Madden 18 to launch, I wanted to give you the top 5 principles, uh, the top 5 things you can do right now to help prepare you for the Madden 18 launch. Okay, so this video, obviously we're not playing Madden 18 yet, but I really believe these 5 principles, if you do these 5 things, it will help you set up for success in Madden NFL 18. The first thing is get back to the basics. And the reason I say that is that what, you, what most people do is <clears throat> over the course of a season, they will get cluttered. They will get, it's kind of like cleaning your garage once a month, right? They will get, uh, basically they'll start doing things they don't really need to do. That doesn't actually help them get better at the game. They'll watch thousands of YouTube videos instead of just watching one to two videos a day. So I would say limit your intake get back to the basics, get back to the roots, try to figure out what are the basic mechanics that I can work on. So for me, one thing I work on all the time uh, in this situation is reading the defense and then at what point do I throw the ball away. Those are things that I try to work on here uh, in this time frame because those are the focal points. The second thing uh, that I wanted to have on this list is you need to identify a lab partner. Okay, this is something I don't always do very well, and the reason uh, mainly is because I just am not intentional. This is the one area for me that I'm going to need to work on for this Madden 18 season. I would like to find a lab partner, so if any of you guys are willing to uh, commit to a certain number of lab hours, let me know, and we'll look at that as I throw the interception here. The third thing, though, and this is what I believe is the most important thing for everyone to do, uh, whether it's me, whether it's anybody, I believe this is the most important thing for you to do. The number one thing to contribute to your success in Madden 18 is this right here. Get your template together, okay? And the reason I say get your template together is that everybody has a blueprint, everybody has a template. Most people don't identify it. And uh, what you want to do is you want to figure out how do you work and how do you, how then can you use your skills, your talents, your whatever to better your game. So for me, uh, my template is to have on, uh, for everything, so for for offense, my template is to have about five to ten points. So I like simple. So so that's my template. Some people's templates is to have 50 plays. And that's just the way they play. That's the way their mind works. For me, it's like, yeah, forget. You know, I don't want to do that. However, you know, some people, that's just the way they work. So I'm not going to tell you yes, no, and different. Uh, I'm just telling you to figure out what it is. So do you want to have a play with a lot of plays that you can use, or do you want to have a simple critical few? The next thing in identifying your template is to figure out, am I run first, am I pass first? Do I like mobile quarterbacks? Do I like short, uh, or do I like accurate quarterbacks? Do I like, uh, you know, do I like West Coast offensive principles? Do I want, do I like vertical passing concepts? All of those things. That's what I mean when I say template. It's more of trying to figure out what is your philosophy for how you're going to play the game. And the reason that this is so important, uh, and again, the reason I really recommend this as being the number one tool, is because for me. When you have a template, it makes it, 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 what it really does is it's like a filter. I call it a filter. So if you think of coffee, right? If you're making a cup of coffee, everybody knows you need to put a filter in the cut in the thing so that the grounds, uh, that, that it just brings the liquid form. It doesn't bring the grounds in. Okay? It's the same thing with football. It's the same thing with Madden. The template that you develop will serve, and I'm going to, I'm going to actually post a video later on in how to develop a template but uh but basically this video is going to give you some ideas the idea of a template is it's going to be a filter so for me i don't even look at the gun ace I don't, i've never looked at the single back jumbo outside of just kind of glancing over it i've not really gone into the lab and i did and practice with it the reason because i know i'm never going to use it because to me it doesn't fit my template my template is i want to have five to ten plays out of the same exact formation where i can move the ball consistently and efficiently so that's how i look at my offense and everything is filtered through that to me the jumbo doesn't work because you're under center and in my opinion under center is not the way to go this year you need to go to shotgun because of the way the pressure system works 
Again, that's up to you to decide, but again, I spent the most time on this one because it's the biggest and the most critical. Defensively, my template is that I need to have a, a be able to blitz left, right, and middle, and I also need to be able to, to disguise my defense so that they can't tell what coverage I'm running. And lastly, it needs to be able to stop the run. That's actually probably one of the most important. So that's kind of my template, and I'll talk more about that later on um, in the summer here. Number four on our list, focus on on carryover formations in place. So as you see right here, I've gone back to the gun bunch. I know some of you guys were watching, and I was working on um, I was working on the gun doubles with halfback weak formation. The reason I went away from that is because we don't know that that Broncos fake rub play is going to be in Madden NFL 18. What I would recommend, however, is to use playbooks. So for example. Um, when coaches change, so so Dallas a couple years ago when, when when they hired Jason Garrett as their coach, their playbook changed. Uh, the uh, I'm trying to think, I mean, you just go down the list. The Cleveland Browns playbook it changed as well when they hired Hugh Jackson, and on and on and on. All the different coaches, no matter what uh, area you're at, what you'll find is man, I'm throwing interceptions left and right today. What you'll find is that when you focus on carryover formations and plays, most of those formations will be there. So for example, the gun bunch weak, it's in almost every single play. Um, the gun doubles is in almost every single play. Very few don't have it. Um, the I formation is in almost every single play. But what you'll find is, what you don't want to do is maybe use, say the Cowboys fire Jason Garrett, and then I wouldn't be able to use the Cowboys playbook. And the reasoning is because I know it's going to change. I know it's probably going to change uh, for the, you know, all around. So that's why I'm saying figure out, that's why New England is the best policy because their coach is always there. Like Belichick's not going to get fired, right? He's not going to leave. There. And you want to do that. Find those staple coaches. So, like, for example, Indianapolis. We know their playbook is going to be probably the same because Chuck, Chuck Pagano is still their coach. That's what I'm kind of trying to say. Um, and you want to look for that. Like, look for coordinator changes or that kind of stuff. And if you look for that and identify that, normally it helps a little bit. The last tip that I wanted to say, and I hesitated to put this on here uh, because I don't want it to be – make you think that it's about being lazy it's about being effective and for me uh, what I've been learning for myself and my game my game actually suffers quite a bit whenever I play the game all the time uh, when, whenever I play the game all throughout the all 12 months all the time no matter what so what I'm gonna suggest you to do from our fifth tip is to basically take a mental break from Madden and when I say mental break, I mean you can still play the game, but take a try. Try to stop figuring it out. Try to stop figuring it out just for a month. So all you need to do is take a mental break, and then when August comes up, because you have about 20 days in August, then use August as your prep month. And that's what I'm gonna kind of do. Um, the channel we're still gonna be posting content and material, but the the content we post is gonna be a lot more philosophical. Uh, because again, I'm talking more template. Uh, because this season is, in a sense, this season is kind of over. We're in July. There's no more tournaments. We're really just ramping up for Madden 18. So it's kind of like the training camp, off season time, where you can men mentally take a little bit of a break from trying to figure out new plays, new formations, new tactics, new strategies, and more towards trying to develop what is the general principles that I can learn from year to year. And so we'll be going back through old Maddens. I'll be playing some Madden 15, Madden 16, Madden 17. These are things I suggest uh, when you look at taking a mental break from the game. Because obviously, you know, some of us just really love the game, want to play it 24-7 no matter what. But there comes a point where you do need to shut down a little bit of your uh, strategic thinking mind. So um, that's what I'm going to recommend. To review that real quickly, top five tips. Number one is to get back to the basics. Again, we talked about that. You want to try to get back to the basic mechanics of the game, try to figure out how to read certain formations and that kind of thing. The second tip that we suggested you do is to get a lab partner. Uh, and the reason I said lab partner, you want to identify someone that you can train with, some kind of accountability partner, someone that's going to help you go through the game as a partner. The third thing you need is to get your template together. And that's kind of what 
what we're all looking at right now and what my channel is going to look like for the next month is I'm going to give you a couple of principles to apply to every area of Madden, whether it be your Madden Ultimate Team, whether it be your strategy, whether it be whatever, okay, whether it be certain passion routes you want to look for next season, all of those things. So we're going to be going through that as a channel. Getting your templates together is essential to your success. Number four, focus on the carryover formations and plays. I recommend using the shotgun bunch. I also recommend maybe using the gun doubles or the eye formation or things like that that you know are probably going to come into the next playbook or into the next season, as well as using the playbooks of coaches that are going to be coaching next year. So I recommend the Patriots, at least on offense, and then on defense, I would recommend whoever the best defense coordinator you can find. I recommend Minnesota or Cincinnati uh, because their coaches are both sticking around too. The last thing is to shut down complete, take a mental break. Try to relax a little bit, enjoy the game, focus more on getting your template together than trying to analyze every little detail and finding the super plays. That's my advice to you guys on the top five ways, the top five things you need to do now in order to get ready for Madden 18 Watch. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because we're going to be posting content all throughout the summer to help you get better for Madden NFL 18. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time.